Since 2010, four rural hospitals in Missouri have closed. The most recent closing in southeast Missouri in 2018, and while that number may seem low, it's contributing to a shortage of doctors in rural areas as seen across the nation. But Missouri is one state where even a small change like that is starting to show. I do feel that I've seen some impact from having a shortage and that people don't get as much primary care as they should. According to the Missouri Hospital Association, for every 100,000 rural residents in Missouri, there are 56 primary care physicians compared to 139 for every 100,000 urban residents. Those numbers are above the nationwide average, and with the aging and growing population, the demand will increase. But a University of Missouri program recently received funding from two federal grants totaling almost $5 million to address this issue. Well, at, at MU School of Medicine, we have a rural track pipeline program where we recruit students from rural communities. We pre-admit them into our School of Medicine, and then they commit to training three different times during medical school in rural communities with rural physicians to prepare them for rural practice. This program has been running at MU since 1995 and has a track record that could help fight this shortage. So I mentioned that 18% of physicians practice in rural Missouri, and for the pre-admitted students, 61% of pre-admitted students, they end up in rural Missouri to practice. And for students that, that pick to do that program, that opt into that program, 40% go to rural Missouri. Dr. Kenny was one of those pre-admitted students, and she said her experience with the program helped her choose a specialty, and it placed her in the rural area she continues to work in now. This pipeline program can help steer med students to rural areas, but one major issue is the number of open residency spots. Statewide, there are more med students than rural residency spots open to them, but one of the grants awarded to MU can help specifically address that residency issue. Worth nearly $750,000, the grant will go to the development of a new rural track residency program in Sedalia. So the, the Sedalia program, we're going to be training family medicine residents so they can go directly from medical school to a residency in a rural community. This residency program, along with Missouri's growing primary care physician population, could help limit the shortage, but only time will tell. Reporting for KTVO, I'm Riley Fannin.